As the BMW IB World Cup Tour drove south from Oberhof to snowy Ruppolding, the question was who would be favoured by the completely different conditions of the Bavarian tracks and range. With the main sprint being pushed one day later due to the status of emergency that was in place in the region, Thursday witnessed two competitions being run in front of an amazing public. The most big name opted for early bids and Tadej Bu made immediately clear that he was one of them. Fasking and accurate shooting set the bar high right from the start, though many tried to match him. Martin Foucault shot clean and pushed hard in the last loop, but it wasn't enough. German Benedict Dahl approached the last range in the lead, but one miss proved costly in his quest for the win. However, his key speed allowed him to take the third place, as Johannes Dienersburg also missed in the standing, but nonetheless skied his way ahead of his brother for the eighth success of his season. In the women's sprint, shooting clean proved key for a top finish as the best three had to find a zero and only three women in the top ten could afford a miss. Italian Lisa Vitozzi showed that her Oberhof win was no fluke and took the lead with a 10 out of 10, but many challengers were still on the start. Anna Ober shot clean but could not match the red beads time. While both Marte Osbu-Roiseland and Dorothea Vira missed once and despite great skiing finished just short of the podium. Anastasia Kuzmina, on the other hand, found a zero that was missing since December 2017 and kept her 11 second lead until the end, which gave her the win. The men's relay on Friday was spiced up by a battle among numerous teams from first to last leg. France, Austria, Germany, Sweden and Norway exchanged place in the lead a number of times, but in the end it all went down to a last shooting thriller between Dol and Johannes Dienersburg. Both hesitated and needed a few spares, but eventually left together. Once again, the Norwegian made the difference on skis to give his team the fifth consecutive relay win on these tracks. Germany closed in second, while Simone de Dieu resisted the attacks of Julian Eberhardt on the last loop to take the third place for France in a sprint finish. In front of 22,000 spectators, women competed on a relay on Saturday, and once again it was a fun one. France led throughout the competition, but it was not an easy job for Le Bleu. Italy and Slovakia chased them closely, but for both, the third leg was a dream crusher, while Germany and Norway closed the gap to get a chance for the win at the last shooting. Anais Chevalier kept her cool and used one spare wisely to bring home the win, while Marte Osbu Roisland closed second ahead of Denise Hermann.
two mustards closed the program in Bavaria, and with a full house cheering for the athletes, the atmosphere was just as awesome as the two competitions. A few misses in the early stops on the men's event allowed a big group to be together for the standings, but at the last range all was bound to change. None of the leader went clean and Benjamin Vega left in the first place, but the fast skiing of Johannes Tignesberg, Martin Foucault and Julian Eberhard caught the leading trio and soon it was clear a battle would decide the winner. The Norwegian took the lead and made sure to never lose it again, but the Austrian, the only one in the fight to have missed twice on the day, passed Cantan Fillon-Maillet at the last turn to capture the second place. The rollercoaster of emotions characterized the women's must start, with many athletes taking the leading seat until a last shooting thriller. Francisca Preuss knocked all the targets and left the range with a few seconds over Ingrid Langmark Tandrevold, so the two engaged a skiing duo that spiced up the last loop. Paulina Fjalkova's fast skiing allowed her to climb back to the third place. The win was decided only in a final corridor, when Preuss pulled her Norwegian rival back for a career maiden win on the home soil. The BMW IBU World Cup Tour is now taking the road again to cross the Alps and land in South Tyrol, where new challenges will await for the athletes in Antols. Uh, yeah, we leave already tonight to get some, uh, yeah, one day more in the altitude and you can't do much more. <laughs> it's, the races are already on Friday, so it's just to get there and put the legs high and get the brain to get some oxygen. <laughs> Really happy to be in Sud Tyrol again. I am expect first it's a good weather, perfect uh, skiing condition, and uh, enjoy of uh, Antholz atmosphere. On the traditional stop in Italian mountains, altitude and cold temperatures, but also thousands of loud fans will make for another great biathlon week. Starting with the women's sprint on Thursday and finishing with two more must starts on Sunday.